So it's pretty funny. Yeah, uh, we have to uh, plan some event like that, some <clears throat> exhibition of some sort, you know, and uh, do some of these things. Oh, absolutely. I mean, I, I think, you know, getting a bunch of old school dominance together for a true BDSM scene yeah. is priceless. Because nowadays, if you were to give a whip or a flogger to one of these prosty doms, as I like to call them, I don't know if you listened to the show earlier when Casey and I were talking about prosty doms, right? Like, they wouldn't know what the fuck to do with this goddamn thing. No, no. No, because they're not even going to take the time to practice and hone their skill. They're not going to do it. Right, exactly. Well, right. Now they'll Google it. How do I do this? You know, right, right, they're right. Not, they're not going to do it. They're not going to take the time, hit their own selves accidentally with the whip coming back and hitting them in the face and all. They're not going to do all that. No, I know. I mean, look, sometimes I've I've done like whip cracking videos where I'm practicing or cracking to my whip for fun, and I actually whipped myself, right? Oh, yeah. And it happened, and boy, did this one last one I did back in May. Oh God, I left such a mark on myself. <laughs> Right, exactly. That's, what, that's, what, that's, how, that's the difference. Right, you, right. You had to learn before. There was no pushing any buttons. You had to go out and do the practical part of it. Exactly. And, and, and then you had pride in your skill. Right, right. You know, there's no pride anymore. You don't have to have pride. You, just, you know, you click it and you can do it, that's it. I know, and, and then the online doms have the sub smack themselves. Mm-hmm. Like, what's the point of that? Like, what's the point of dominating through someone, having them smack themselves? You know? Yes, yes, yes. It's, it's not, that's not the same to me. That's just, that, that's pussyfooting bullshit. <laughs> <laughs> you yeah, know? Yeah. Would, but that would be nice to, to get some of the uh, traditional. Oh, absolutely. I mean, do, do you, you have a lot of whips and things too, I'm, I'm assuming. Yeah, I got, yeah, I got things. You, like you probably have a galley whip. I have one of those. Do you know what that is? Uh, what's the size of that? It, it's, it's, I'll tell you what it is. It's a, it's a cross between a signal whip and a flogger. It's old school BDSM. They used to use them back in the 80s. Um, I actually have one made out of kangaroo leather that I got from Details Toys. Actually, uh, my slave Paula bought it for me. For my birthday, probably like twenty years ago or something like that, and um, it's pretty cool. It's it's an old school. You really don't see a lot of them anymore. It's a special like special whip, so you can use it from like far away, like using a flogger kind of with just the falls at the end. But then, if you really want to get technical, you could crack it like a signal whip, actually. And the falls would be doing the cracking rather than a cracker at the end of the whip. So it's kind of interesting. It's a dual purpose. I really enjoy it. And I do I do love my dragon's tail as well as some other implements. I have some canes and some crops. And I use a lot of floggers. Oh, I have this one flogger that's like a leather barbed wire on it. It's pretty nasty. <laughs> Every sub that I've smacked or whipped with it head says, oh my God, that thing is so nasty. <laughs> oh, yeah. That's uh, unique with that. <laughs> yeah, I, I, have, I have a quite an extensive flog of, flogger collection, I have to say. Mm-hmm. I, have a lot, I have a lot of tools in my arsenal. Yeah. yeah no, no, we definitely got to put something together. I mean, you know. Oh, you... It's all over. <laughs> exactly. Well, you know, if you guys travel... You guys can come. We have a pretty large house. Um, maybe we can decide to maybe host maybe an event here or something or have a personal play party and get like a bunch of submissives so we can like practice our old school BDSM tutelage torture on uh, some willing participants. On standby. Exactly, a medic on standby. <laughs> Oh my god. A medic and a few body bags just in case. I'm like, I'm like, I'm like <laughs> that was very funny. <laughs> a medic and a few body bags just to name a few things, right? And maybe a coroner, and I'm like, kidding. <laughs> but I like to say, have, have a fire extinguisher because sometimes I have a fire, uh, a fire, um, a fire plate kit. 
And I, I have only used it once. But now that we have, like, a bigger space, I would like to use it again. But I don't know. I think I would rather use it outside than in the house. Yeah, just true. in case, like, you know, there's yeah. some runaway, like, uh, ethyl alcohol or something, you know. <laughs> that's right. Yeah, that's that's an outside thing. Definitely. That's definitely an outside thing. Right, right, right. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Definitely. <laughs> oh, goodness. So where can people find you, Lorenzo, if they have any questions uh, for you? You can get me on Twitter. Uh, Lorenzo4016 and Lorenzo2920. Mm. And, uh, see you on Instagram at LorenzoG2920. Awesome. Yeah. And and you're on FetLife too, right? Yeah. I remember the, the name's right. Lorenzo also on. I think you're under Sir, Sir Hyphen Lorenzo. I think Sir you're on the. Yeah, Hyphen. yeah. Uh, I do that and I do um, the voice work voiceovers for um, people's podcasts websites narrations you know things like that I know I was saying that earlier actually we used to have a friend he actually had passed away Um, he had this great voice uh, black guy really nice guy and he did a bunch of voiceovers for us for our initial podcast that we did like a few years ago and kind of funny recently I had found a file that had them in there. So actually his sister was a really good friend of mine named Mistress Black Velvet. She's out of Philadelphia. And uh, her brother has been passed away for like two and a half years now. So recently I had sent her, I had emailed her this file and I wrote, Mistress Black Velvet, please listen to this and save to your computer. She called me up and she goes, oh my fucking God. She goes, where did you find these? I said, in my old email from your brother. She goes, wow. She goes, now I get to have his all different, his voices on a, on a, <laughs> on a mix. And I would play them, but we're no longer on this network. It wasn't ASN. It was before them. Uh, right. So I don't want to play because the, that station is done with or was gone or whatever and I don't want to give them any old credits but yeah he really did some really great stuff and he did it in this like total sexual voice (laughs) it was awesome (laughs) so I'm sure you do that kind of stuff too right yeah Yeah, if anybody needs that or you know on your website I did some work um, just did something with dating kinky um, anal training uh, self pleasuring and all that a whole workshop on that also and that's pretty good. Oh, where where can I listen to that? That's on uh, it's a membership for on Dating Kinky. They offer that. Hmm. Um, yeah, yeah that's uh, interesting. Kinky dot com. But I did that also. Anything you know? Wow. Needed, uh, I like to well, you do have a you do have a very good voice. I have to say, it's it's very uh, very dominant. <laughs> <laughs> Exactly right, and it's and it's completely el natural too, which is like the best part of that. Right? <laughs> oh God! Well, that's good. Well, listen, I'm gonna end the show with on a happy note. But thank you and Casey both for calling in. I had a great time with you guys. And uh, you got to definitely stay in touch. And, and Casey said she, you know, they, you guys are maybe planning a trip to New York. You have some other uh, friends here in New York, I think. Yeah, yeah, we're both New Yorkers. So, you know, we do that travel and uh, meet up there. Sometimes I stay in uh, Jersey. Oh, where in Jersey? Uh, in Elizabeth, Elizabeth, I'll stay sometimes. You know, I just hit the tunnel coming in. Okay, gotcha, gotcha. Yeah. Yeah, oh. so, yeah, yeah you just never know where we may. Yet. Well, that's interesting. Yeah, never know. <laughs> well, hey, if we do have a big BDSM party, we know that we're definitely going to invite you guys, so that's yeah. fine. <laughs> yeah, that'll, that'll be great. That'll All right, be well, awesome. Great. Well, thanks for calling in, and happy Thank Thanksgiving, and don't be a stranger. All right. And, yeah, uh, <clears throat> yeah I think Cupcake actually came home from work and went to go take a shower. Uh he had worked a double yesterday, so he's kind of probably exhausted. So I think he had gone up to bed. He came home probably about, I don't know. Okay, he'll be able to hear the uh, replay. Yeah, he can hear the replay, absolutely. <laughs> All right. Well, you have a great evening, and thanks for calling right. in. You too. And uh, well, I'll talk to you soon, uh, Lorenzo. Thank you.
Take care. All right, bye-bye. So look at that. We had both Casey Carter and Lo- Sir Lorenzo both on. Again, we met them both at Exotica. Very lovely people, very dominant people. And uh, if you want to contact them, you can find uh, them on my social media, uh, which is at MistressC69 on Twitter, at CupcakeLove71 on Twitter. Instagram, I have two mistress accounts at the real mistress candy 69 and the real mistress C69 and at cupcake love 71. Please follow us on our Facebook page, which is BDSM Alive Radio Show. And you can follow us on our website and check back on different media www.bdsmaliveradio.com. And happy Thanksgiving, everybody, and see you all next week. Thank you for listening to the show. You're listening to the BDSM Alive Radio Show, hosted by Mistress Candy 69 and Cupcake Love. Mistress Candy 69 is a lifestyle and professional dominatrix, BDSM educator of 30 years, bringing you the best in fetish and king in this awesome kinky podcast.